And yo, what's poppin' 10 Leo? It's your boy Prado G, and I'm back at it with a daily reading for your sign. Shout out to all my Leos out there. The second fire sign of the zodiac cycle. If your birthday is between July 22nd and August 22nd, then you, my friend, are a Leo. Shout out to all the Leos out there. Love y'all so much, but we're about to get straight into this reading. It is a general reading, so anything that resonates for you, you know, take it as it resonates and leave behind whatever doesn't resonate because it's a general reading and it's collective. So it's for all Leos. If you have Leo anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, or rising, this video can resonate with you and it is for you. So let's see what the messages have in store for you today, starting off with our significant number. Oop, it jumped out immediately. The number one keeps showing up. We are number one. Look, I think it's about unity. The number one keeps on showing up because it's about unity, uniting. You know, one is also about uh, symbolization of unity, being connected, you know, oneness, wholeness, a peace. But this also speaks to potential and opportunities and new beginnings, seeds, uh, solar plexus energy, the sun. Shout out to any of the men watching, any guys watching right now, you are a sun. Shout out to any women watching too because you gave birth to um or women give birth to men so shout out to the ladies without you guys we wouldn't be of existence but anyway the point here is that the number one is showing up so let number one resonate with you however it does if your birthday is august 1st then shout out to you is your birthday august 1st i don't know but anyways we're gonna get straight into this Starting off with my Queens of Hip Hop's deck. I just got this. I'm excited to use it. We're going to use it for you the first time. You guys are actually the first sign I'm using this deck for. Let's see what the Queens of Hip Hop Oracle deck has to say for my Leos. Now, I like this deck a lot, though, because it's all over the place. <laughs> As you can see, let me collect all these cards. But anyway, um, what I was going to say, the reason I like this deck, though, is because it gives a good highlight to the women of hip-hop who made it through so many adversities and challenges to be where they are today that have impacted the music game because y'all know that music is like very um much a part of our lives and we all care about music a lot so i mean we all listen to music right i don't really know many people who don't listen to music and you might not even be a hip-hop head but for all those who are, you know, that's the reason why I like this deck a lot, because I listen to music a lot. And shout out to all the um, Leos who are musicians as well. If you are thinking of pursuing a music career, I pray that these cards help you channel some sort of energy and, you know, some sort of skills. Let the skills come out. Let's see what the women of hip hop have to say to Leo. I'm like, slow down, hold on, I'm moving too fast. Okay, flipper. First flipper we got is who? Trina, Trina in reverse. This could be speaking to a lack of tenacity for you, Leo, either I'm tenacious. Being tenacious is being super determined. Now we know that Trina is determined. She's the best, and they don't call it up for nothing, right? Exactly, so shout out to anybody who's a Leo, if your name is Trina, shout out to you who um you could be either overly tenacious or right now you could just be experiencing a lack of tenacity when trina shows up in reverse it's just some sort of imbalance going on here for you leo at the bottom of the deck it could be tied to some sort of truth a lack of truth rhapsody showed up in reverse so truth in reverse is like you know either a lie or something either um you know, there could be some sort of lie. Like, you could be, the truth could be being, you could be withholding the truth from you by not believing in yourself. That's kind of like lying. You know, lying to yourself about what you are able to do. Um, or telling yourself that you, you know, that you don't have the will or the, the, the ability to get this done when you really do. And this is not just for women, Leos. So this could be for male Leos too. This is speaking to your energy as well because the trina card 
Tenacity speaks to security, reassurance, or charm. You might feel a little less charming right now. You might need some extra reassurance or you might be feeling a little insecure. But Trina was a vital part of Miami's hip hop renaissance in the late 19 or 1990s. And to this day, her name stays on the lips of next gen female rappers as one of the main artists who inspired them. First appearing on the mayor of Miami rap trick daddy's breakout single, Nan. Trina entered the scene already crowned as the baddest bitch from the title of her debut album filled with quips about meeting men who could overspend on her, maintaining a hustler's mentality as she navigated through the Miami beaches and set trends across the world. The Diamond Princess sparkled through the 2000s when women in hip hop were a rarity. Trina's persistent shine showed not only her staying power, but also her unrelenting drive to keep the music coming and make her fans happy. Even now, she's still the baddest. <laughs> Trina's card and her career can teach us all a lesson. Hold firm and steady and you'll never falter. Practice also makes per perfect. So if you are feeling like you are losing your grip or want someone or something, maybe more work is needed. Often we think we've got it all figured out, giving us a false sense of security. That is until we realize we don't. Of course, that realization can shake anyone to the core, but let this card guide you in the direction of I can and away from I can't. Mm, see, it's time to get a grip. Literally hold on to what you want to achieve and don't let that go. You'll be the best at being the baddest, period. You're going to be the best at being the baddest. You already heard it. You already heard that, Leo. But that's what I was saying. I feel like you can even be feeling less charming right now or insecure about something. Or you could be, um, I don't know, feeling like you got it all figured out, which could be creating a false sense of security. You know, like, just be honest right now, because at the bottom of the deck, I definitely see truth. You could be lying to yourself about something or not being honest, which is getting in the way of your true security, sense of security. Now, what else does my Leos need to know? For my male Leos, if you are dating any women, it could be a woman. I don't know. You might have been dating a woman named Trina. You know? She could have some insecurities. I don't know. Or she could have highlighted your insecurities. I don't know. Brought them out of you. Or made you realize something. What else does my... Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> Love showed up. And for Beyonce. Okay, Beyonce. Number one. <laughs> Beyonce energy is love. This is the love card. And it's like... Love is kind of a skill to have, you know, it's like love is not something that's really easily maintained, especially self-love, because we are so quick to compare ourselves or allow uh, comparisons from others to damper our love. Right. And this Beyonce card is just like, come on now, you know, Beyonce, she's going to get love. She demands love. Why? Because she is love and she has a loving essence to her. This is what you are being called to do. Be of more loving essence towards yourself. Beyonce has a strong sense of self-love. Why? Because I mean, hey, that was pumped into her since she was a very young girl. Also skills. There's some sort of skills that you might not be giving energy to. MC Light showed up in reverse. So you might be feeling like you don't have skills, Leo child. You got skills and your skills are much more capable than um, you just getting 10% commission for it. <laughs> I don't know why I see 10% here on this calculator. So I don't know. Maybe you might be giving 10% of your skill or something. You might even, yeah, I feel like you might just be giving 10% of your skill right now and you're unlocking new levels. There's more levels um, to your skill set to be unlocked, but it must come from love. I'm telling you, the more you love yourself and you embody yourself in self-love and really like, you know, just love, be of more love. That's where your charm comes from as well. <clears throat> and I'm telling you, you enhance your skills on everything. So this card, the Beyonce card says romance, compassion, self-love, love of others, and love of life. See, I knew it. It's just about love. Love, 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 love of life, love of others. You could be wanting to be in a relationship right now. Hey, or you could just be wanting to love others and love your life on a whole new level like you've never had before. And this card is a good sign that it's looking like the future is going to be this way for you. Like I was saying about any of my female um, Leo's out here trying to pursue a music career is giving Beyonce energy, but love, self-love, love of life, need that romance, okay? But 
and tarot language, Houston native Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter would be regarded as the high priestess. <laughs> Universally adored, Beyonce can make you cry at the mere sight of her. Love is her universal theme. From hits like Crazy in Love to Dangerously in Love to Drunk in Love <laughs> and Queen B is well versed in what makes every angle of our heart beat. She's the blueprint, the divine symbol of love empowering women to delve deep within to fathom the roots of their emotions. By showing her vulnerable sides, we're inspired to reveal our own. That act, of course, comes with epiphanies that can lead to both happiness and heartache. The Beyonce card suggests it is time to explore the depths of love more intimately. At times, you may question whether you have enough love in your life. At others, you may feel undeserving of its abundance. Whichever end of the spectrum you are feeling most acutely, the Beyonce card encourages you to think beyond romance and partnership. Mm. Your career and hobbies your friends, your children, and yes, your romantic partner can all be sources of love. You may be wondering how you can take that love to the top with one, some, or all of the above. Turn your gaze inward and tap into the positive force field of love. As you identify what's missing or remove the boundaries between physical and spiritual love, Beyonce is here to show you that opportunities to love more are limitless. Mm. We all have the same hours in a day that Queen Bee has. <laughs> so, right, it's just like, mm, dang, that really hit about love, though, and harnessing those emotions and getting in tune with love, limit, you know, just love, knowing that you deserve it and being willing to give it and knowing that you can find love in all aspects of your life you don't have to just limit it to like a sexual boyfriend girlfriend wife husband you know it don't gotta be that it's just that that's not what love just is beyonce yeah so i need you to put love on top period finally you put that love on top baby that's what it's looking like leo it's looking like you're gonna be putting love on top in the future number one you see that number one energy you know, love takes the first place, period. Now, what does my beautiful Leos need to see here with the, okay, the chariot showed up in reverse, rewards that come from hard work. So either you are not putting forth your best work um, or you are seeking some sort of public recognition to bring you charm, right? And to increase your tenacity. But listen, you might need to just get off the chariot for a minute. You might be feeling knocked off of your chariot or just like slow moving, slow going, or just moving in a direction that you have no clue why you're going that way. This could also be cancer energy. This could be a cancer in your life too. Um, but I, I really feel like this is more involving the world. This is something that you are trying to accomplish spiritually possibly, but more so um, it's just about... Yeah, I really do feel like it's about you being proud of yourself and you having the willpower to move forward and be determined with that tenacity showing up in reverse. The chariot came through too. Seven of Swords wanted to come out as well. This card keeps showing up. Seven of Swords. So it's a loss of peace of mind. You could just be grieving over something, maybe some personal freedom. You need, you are seeking some sort of freedom, some personal freedom. You want to be free from something mentally i feel it and you could be trying to run from it leo look at this person sprinting with those swords covered up covering the swords it's like you're trying to hide your thoughts and trying to get away um take caution and be aware of others actions right because you know you might not feel like you can connect with other people don't y'all see that group of people back there sitting around the fire this is like warm connections people are bonding it's around a bonfire and you could be trying to run away from connections with others there could be dark clouds over your mind over your head you could have some embarrassing secrets or like you could have just went through some sort of material loss and doing being that you are a leo but not just that i ain't gonna say that but being that we all have a certain uh perception of how we should be showing up in this world and when we kind of like lose something materialistically it could just be like um status or just like downsizing in a home or something 
and you feeling like, oh, wow, I can't even connect with these people now. I'm just too embarrassed. And honestly, you got to ask yourself, why would you want to be around people like that anyway if those are the type of people that they are? But that could just be you mentally feeling this way too. And that goes to show that uh, if that is how you are feeling uh, mentally, that you just got to work on... um you know, work on this need of appearing a certain way, I feel like. This Ace of Wands showed up at the bottom of the deck, which is like, okay, yeah, low spirits due to a blockage in your create your creativity, an amazing opportunity being blocked right now because you're trying to run away from connections with other people. This bonfire, you need to get around it, get around it to warm you up and to spark some creativity within you. So... What else does my Leos need to know right now? With the Three of Pentacles showing up, Earth sign energy, Leo. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Heavy on the Capricorn energy, but do what you love here. Either you could be collabing with someone working with the Capricorn or Earth sign, but this energy is letting me know that you are doing what you love right now. You're going to be recognized for the highest quality of work as long as that's what you are putting forth. You are being renewed. The renewal card is at the bottom of the deck. You get renewed by your work too, though. I feel like you feel fresh and renewed when you are working and doing what you actually love doing, being creative. Also, you get paid well too for your craft when you are actually enjoying what you're doing and working well with other people. This is an excellent reputation too tied to this. It's like you can have a great reputation um, because you're working better with people in the future. This is like what I see you running towards. You might not realize it. You could be in this headspace of thinking that, um, I think that's what you really could be running towards though. Like you could be trying to hide something and just put in all your energy into your work right now. And you, as long as you're doing what you love, this is kind of a good thing. This is a good thing. That's actually a really good thing to Put yourself fully into your work. You don't have to necessarily be spending too much time with all these other people. You could be focusing on a mission, I think. Really back in, on a mission of getting in alignment with your purpose and working. Yeah. Yeah, with the renewal card too. What else? For my lovely Leos. What else? For my lovely Leos. What else? We got the magician. Oh, and it popped up. All right. I love it. And it fell under love. So, ooh, magic. A magical love. You have the ability to bring love into your life, which is magic. Magic is love. Love is magic. You know, without love, there's no magic in life. Um, and then the magic of life is what love is, right? So magic is alive in your life. This is what it says with this Beyonce energy. When you channel this, get in tune, listen to some Beyonce maybe. I don't know. It could do some magic and wonders in your life. I love music. Music definitely moves us and what you need to be a success will manifest. So I don't know. Listen to some inspiring music that's going to take you there. But if you believe it, you can do it. I do see with this magic magician energy. If you believe you can, you can do it. You can be the next Beyonce. I mean, not that you should be trying to even do that or compare yourself to Beyonce or anybody else. I'm just saying magic is alive in your life. Anything can happen. This love, you can even channel the love. Even if you're not trying to be a singer like Beyonce, it's just like that love that Beyonce embodies. You can be that. You can replicate that. You can even do the singing too. I don't know. You might sound like Beyonce. Shout out to any of my Leos out there sounding like Beyonce. <laughs> um, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, and it fell underneath the chariot. So this is the second horse card. Look at this. I don't know why I feel like you could have a horse. You could be um, into horse racing or something like that. Or you could just be like into ponies or feel like you are a unicorn. You're a unicorn. You're unique. Yes, you are. That's funny, Beyonce. You, you, you're unique. That's what you are. Unique. That's what you are. Unique. That's what you are. But yeah, okay, so the Knight of Wands in reverse is a little bit less passionate or too passionate or not confident enough. And the way that this reading has been rolling out, especially with tenacity in reverse, I feel like either you could really just be off your game right now. You are moving too fast in the wrong direction or you're just really not as confident in yourself to be able to achieve this thing. 
You need to stay focused when this card shows up. This speaks to a passionate relationship, something that you're truly passionate about. But trusting your instincts is important here. And it could be involving your family and your financial security. So this is where you're trying to move forward toward. This is what you're most passionate about a lot. I feel Leo is this ability to be stable at home and provide a lifestyle of security, a sense of security within yourself financially as well externally with that pinnacle showing up the pinnacles yep queen of pinnacles period i said capricorn energy you could be trying to run from a capricorn or running into a connection with a capricorn here you might not see it coming um or some sort of female earth sign it could be that too capricorn taurus um virgo so this is a very generous energy someone who is loving who cares gracious and materialistic um, here to help relieve people. Super supportive too. Um, people could be very dependent on this person. You could be dependent on this person. This is someone that you can depend on. They have a sensible approach. Also, um, this person has a major love for family and connection. And I think that's what you are really dealing with too here, Leo, because you care a lot with this Queen of Pentacles. This could be just speaking to your energy of being very generous and loving and connected um with their family or you know that's that's what you are really truly desiring there could be someone in your life that you lost it could have been a capricorn woman um or just a sense of yourself that you feel like you've lost because the queen of pentacles is very much rich um well off and established financially financially mature and um well off and you could be really subconsciously suffering from um that because you know this is who you are this is the energy that you are working on subconsciously and you're being relieved with this look at the six of wands it's the ending of challenging times things are looking up for you leo now what else does my leos need to know Okay, Ten of Wands energy. Okay, Ten of Wands shows up when you could be having a headache. <laughs> you tired. You're doing too much. There's a lot going on here in terms of work. Like I said, you could be overworking yourself, running, trying to um, forget about these, these thoughts, trying to hide these thoughts or trying to overcome grief with work, right? You could be trying to overcome your grief with work or and you could be working too much, working too hard. So there is a need for balance in your life and let other people help you, even if it's, um, you know, asking for some assistance or letting somebody come and talk to you and relieve you with a nice conversation, a warming conversation. This Ten of Wands energy um, could be some health problems, too. So you could be stressing, creating health problems for yourself or you could be creating um having health problems which are creating stress for you so um, make sure you stay in this vibration of doing what you love and take it easy too i see here like do what you love this is why the three card shows up when it's like some sort of you're working on something and you might want to help you might need some help i don't know you might need some creative assistance here you might need some assistance with whatever you're trying to work on, my Leos. And you don't want to ask for help, maybe. You might not want to ask for help. Look at all those people at that bonfire over there in the Seven of Swords. It's like, you could be asking them for help if you need some assistance with this. Or you might just be wanting to keep it all to yourself. Like I said, you could be embarrassed with these things that you're holding on to. So that's getting in the way, too, causing you stress. It's like carrying burdens here, too. Also, we always feel like we're working so much harder when we have a bunch of negative, toxic thoughts running through our mind. Look at that. The Eight of Swords in reverse. So, uh, yeah, it's like, look, you could be not taking off the blindfold and blind to something taking place and it's slowing you down with the Eight of Wands. Underneath the Magician card, following the Ten of wands right it's like coming this could be slowing you down trying to work too hard and it's like this card speaks to multitasking being able to multitask but right now it could be like just too much for you coming in all at once um this says you know like stress caused by a lot of positive opportunities there's like a lot of positive positive things trying to come through for you and 
if you are not prepared or looking up, if you're being stressed by what you already have to handle right now, if you are putting too much stress on yourself with the work that you're doing right now, Leo, then this magic is going to be hard for you to handle all this that's trying to come to you. This is making its way to you and you might not even feel worthy of it. Why? Because you're still boggled up with these burdens, these stress, the stress of not wanting to be independent, you know, want to do it all on your own. And this is a lot like this is a lot to see and to handle all on your own. <clears throat> but <clears throat> this is why you also need to know that with this magician card, you can manifest what it is that you want. And it has to be through love. If you want to really truly manifest something, you're going to love. You're not manifesting anything that you're, you're going to love if you're not coming from a place of love, Leo, or believing in yourself and freeing yourself from any illusions, which is fear. Fear is the number one illusion that um, opposes love, which makes it possible for us to expand and grow. So just know that when we are facing fear or having some sort of illusions clouding our minds, all we got to do is take some time to be conscious rip off the blindfolds and, you know, make some moves forward through any sort of gates, any sort of limitations or blockages and obstacles that we might be having in our way that we feel like we can't get through. You can. You just must first take off the blindfolds to see what it is that you're dealing with. So thank you so much, Leos, for coming through. And I love you guys. Have a wonderful day.